Hey guys, so I guess I just want to give you a little sneak peek into my first like real meal prep. Like my first real planning it out and making the meals and test running, all this stuff. Okay, so. I'm gonna show you the printout. I kind of like typed up my own variation of a meal plan that I really vibed with online. And I kind of made up my own because I'm a picky person and a picky ear. So I'm gonna show you. Actually, let me just show you this, okay? This is amazing, but check this out. The shit is the freaking bomb. Literally bomb. <laughs> uh, it's apple butter. So caramel rice cake with apple butter on top. Like a little caramel apple thing going on. And then I just put pecans on top to make it look pretty. But it's so freaking good, guys. Honestly. Mmm. So good. Here's my meal plan. I call it the big bulk meal plan because for me... This is bulking because I do not eat a lot, honestly. So, I have six meals a day. Um, and I gave myself three different options because I get bored with the same food. So, if you can see, like, my, my food type here, it's pretty simple. I don't have fancy meals. I don't have a lot going on. I just stuck with the basic... You know, get your protein, get your carbs, throw a vegetable in there, you're good to go. So, I'll show you what I've made so far. It's taken me, like, this is day two of meal prepping, so I have to figure out a little bit more efficient way to do that. Like, spend my entire Sunday just, like, pounding it all out. Um, but I'll show you what, um, what I've prepped so far. So this whole top shelf is mine. I got some chicken, rosemary chicken that I just made. It's still warm. Um, I made some, I'm Italian, okay, so I had to make some pasta, but I got like the small kind. Um, it's called a Cini di Pepe. And I have, t I have two of those because there's two um, options on my meal plan. And then I love sweet potatoes, so I made a mashed version just because I like different textures, you know? I have three of those. And then this shit, oh my god, I tried some of this today. It's so freaking good. I went to Wegmans and they had um they had like beef like Mexican style beef tips for uh sale. So I mixed it with I mixed it with some Spanish rice, and I put peppers and um, squash and broccoli in it. It's so freaking good. I figure I just I'm just trying to make the most difficult to prepare stuff first. Like this stuff, I could just grab and go. You know, I don't need to prep it or anything. But just like the hard stuff, the stuff that takes multiple multiple minutes to make. So that way, you know, if I'm running to the gym or I'm getting ready for work. I just throw it in my bag. You don't have to worry about it. Um, but I'm not putting it all in one container. Usually I pre-make my whole meal. But that takes like a couple minutes. I can just throw it together before I leave to go somewhere. Or if I'm sitting down to eat some lunch. So that's honestly the game plan. I'm still testing the waters of like what I like. And what's the most efficient way to do stuff. But that's where I'm at right now with that. So... Um, I think it's going well, but I want to show you something else that I put on my, um, list here that's kind of important. Um, I put my body type down just to keep reminding myself, like, like everybody's body works a little bit different. So, I'm 50% ectomorph and 50% mesomorph. And then there's endomorph, which is, I'm not I'm an, an endomorph at all. So, an ectomorph is someone who has a high metabolism, is naturally lean, and is a slow muscle gainer. 
And then a mesomorph has large muscle mass, uh, consistent body weight, and wide shoulders. So I'm a little bit of a mix of both of those. You can go online and take a body type test, and it'll kind of give you an idea. Um, but that has a lot to do with your meal plan because uh, it determines how often you eat and how many calories you know you should be intaking and all that stuff and also another thing I'll point out is my eating schedule is 7 a.m. to 9 this meal 6 is right before bed I go to bed early because I'm an old person my friends know that <laughs> and then the average calorie intake for this meal plan is about 2500 to 2800 so that's pretty decent for me so far so yeah, I just wanted to kind of like show you that um, I'm starting this whole meal prepping thing. I don't really love it, but <laughs> it'll help me when I'm, you know, running short on time. So in that aspect, I kind of like am making myself do it. But, um, sure it's so good. So, I also kind of wanted to talk to you guys about my knee because I feel like not a lot of people know exactly what's going on. So I've been having knee pain, it's been getting a lot worse um, gradually and then it kind of like like got drastically worse over like a couple of weeks and I'm like you know what I just really need to go to the doctor and figure it out. So. Um, I went to like an emergency um, orthopedic surgeon office so I could get right in because it's kind of hard to get into like joint bone and joint centers so and there was nobody there and I just got right in and they were so great and they took an x-ray of my knee and my top of my tibia is actually chipped and the chip that's floating around in there is actually rubbing on my tendon and it's causing that pain. And I thought I was having tendon issues when um, it's actually just a piece of bone like digging into my patellar tendon. So um, I'm going to see a specialist in two days, so I'm sure I'll update everybody. But um, yeah, as far as what's going on, I'm so glad that I was able to figure it out and get to the bottom of whatever you know, kind of pain I'm having. I can't really do legs anymore unless it's like um, a non-knee bending movement. So I've really been having to modify my leg days and I'm noticing like it's great that like my upper body is definitely like changing and stuff and getting bigger and seeing progress. But then like my, from like my abs down is like <laughs> totally withering away and I feel like I feel so guilty that I'm skipping legs, but you know what, and it, is, it is what it is, and I'm doing everything I can, icing and, you know, wrapping it and all of that stuff, but I just really need it fixed so I can go back to doing legs, but, but yeah, it's, you know, it is what it is, like I said. So, that's pretty much all I have today. Nothing fancy, and I hope you enjoy. Make sure that you're subscribing and make sure that you are keeping tabs on my Instagram because I've been posting sh cool shit on there. Thanks for watching, guys. Honestly, like, see you around. Next video will be up soon. <laughs>